Mr. Robert Wexler, the gentleman from Florida. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I, your permission, Mr. Attorney General, I'd like to follow the chairman's questions regarding Mr. Iglesias. If I understand it correctly, you testified that Carl Rove talked to you about voter fraud in New Mexico in fall 2006? Yes, New yes. Mexico and two other jurisdictions, that's correct. Mr. Inglis Iglesias is selected for the termination list in early November 2006? I think on election day. His name, well, I don't know when he was, when he was selected. I, I wasn't involved in that process, right. but it, it appears home, on looking the looking at the documents, right. it, appears, it first appears on the list on election day. And it's your testimony, you did not select him to put, you did not select Mr. Iglesias to be put on the list, correct? His name was brought forward to me, uh, recommended, right. uh, along you, with you, others. You did not select him. Did Mr. Sampson select him? I, I, Mr. Sampson was charged with coordinating this effort. He, did, he didn't select him. Well, uh, I have not spoken with Mr. Sampson about, about right. this. Uh, did attorney, former Deputy Attorney General Mr. Comey, did he select him? Of course, he wasn't in, in the department at that time. So, so he didn't select him. I don't him. think he selected him. That's right. Did Mr. McNulty select him? I haven't spoken, I haven't asked that question, Mr. Yeah. McNulty. Mr. McNulty, McNulty told us he didn't select him. Did Mr. Margolis select him? Again, I haven't spoken he with didn't Mr. Margolis. Select him. Um, we've talked a lot about the president's authority to have who he wants where. Did the president select Mr. Iglesias to be no. put on the termination no. list? No, but, but again. No, the president didn't select him. Did the vice president select him to put him, Mr. Iglesias, on the termination list? No. No. Okay, so the president didn't. The vice president didn't, you the attorney general didn't, all of the assistant and former deputy attorney generals didn't put Mr. Iglesias on the termination list, so who did? Well, what's important, Congressman, is that, is that, is that there, there was a consensus recommendation made to me, whether or not how we got on so the list is less important. So a group of people put them on the list? What's less important is that I accepted a recommendation and I made the decision. I accept responsibility no, no. for the decision. You, you made a decision, according to yourself, as to accepting the termination list. But you've also said you didn't put them on the list. With all due respect, Mr. Attorney General, you won't tell the American people who put Mr. Iglesias on the list to be fired. It's a national secret, isn't it? Congressman, if I knew the answer to that question, I would, I would provide you the answer. Ah. I have not spoken with the individuals. Okay, so you don't know uh, who put it on the list, Mr. Iglesias. Why was Mr. Iglesias put on the list by this mystery person? Well, again, I wasn't surprised to see Mr. Iglesias' name recommended to me based upon conversations that I had with a senior senator from, from New Mexico. Uh, he had lost confidence in Mr. Iglesias. Let me just say, Mr. Iglesias' story is, is a great one. It's the American dream. And there are many good things about his performance, and I very much admire him as a person. But you won't tell the American people who put him on a list to terminate his employment. I accept responsibility for no, this You accept decision. responsibility for making the decision ultimately to accept the termination list, but you will not come forth and tell the American people who put Mr. Iglesias on the list to be fired. Out of respect for the integrity of this investigation and the investigations occurring at the Department of Justice. You know what Mr. Michella told this committee about why Mr. Iglesias was put on the list? He said the rationale was because he was an absentee landlord. Are you familiar with that? I I'm familiar with Mr. Michella's public testimony. Right. He delegated authority, apparently, Mr. Iglesias. Well, let me just say this. Uh, there was, there, there is, there, uh, I did not make the decision with respect to Mr. Iglesias. I know. You haven't made any his, decision, Mr. His service. You have been very clear about that. I accept full responsibility for this. But you won't tell us who put Mr. Iglesias on that list. You would have, you would have, you would have a better opportunity and to access I would. Him. The committee would. Are you the, the Attorney Congress. General? Do you run the Department I, of Justice? Yes, yes, I do. And it's been frustrating to me to not be able to ask these kinds of questions. But I want to respect the integrity of this investigation. If we, if we all came up here what time, and had what, the when same... When did the investigation in the Department start? If we all came up here... It started after six they of were us, fired, didn't ...and it? had the same testimony about events that occurred over two years, you would look at that with great suspicion. You would wonder, sir, have you guys talked to each other about facts? Sir, you know the reason I have you not. know them, and it has nothing to do with an investigation that's occurring after these people were fired, because you know the answer before they were fired, because you know who put them on the list, but you won't tell us. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.